everybody. Thanks for joining my uh, teaching group here that my wife made me start. <laughs> Kristen, stop texting me. All right. Hello. She's still texting me. So, uh, yeah, welcome to my group. And uh, today I'm going to talk about some improv and go-to grooves. We all have our, our go-to grooves that, you know, just naturally come out of us. So here, for this instrument, this uh, Mirim, uh, this is kind of what I like to do. thing is to always you want to come back to one right you know I'm being a drummer that's kind of ingrained in, in what I do so you always want to make sure that you're coming back to one uh, you know whatever time signature you're in um, so another if I pick up another pan I might have a, a different you know go to groove even This one I'm feeling it as triplets. like that bass you can do the snare on the side as well and the interstitial
to some bossa nova grooves. You can pick any two chords or whatever, and it starts like this. A mute, right? So you're just twirling your fingers. So here, let me play it. And another chord. Mute, open, bass, bass, snare. 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 How it, here's how it goes again. It's a mute, right? I'm just throwing my fingers down and they're landing and sticking. And then I'll open with that same notes. Mute, open. So you have to mute them and then lift your fingers up and then hit it again, open. Mute, open, bass, bass. snare hit I'm hitting on the outside of the ding. You don't want to hit on the ding. Or you could hit on the side of the interstitial, like this. But I tend to not want to travel as far. And so that second one is delayed. So mute, open, bass, bass, snare. So see that's connected to the two basses. Bass, bass, snare. So then here's to the next part. Mute, open, bass, bass, snare. Mute, open, bass, bass, snare. So see, it's slightly different. That snare is delayed. Mute, open, bass, bass, snare. Mute, open, bass, bass, snare. Change chord. You have a little bossa nova. So you can do that. Um, it's hot in here. How's everybody doing? Thanks for joining my group, everybody. You ready to learn? <sighs> oh. So here's a uh, basa on the Mirim Maluna. Mini pan here. Different chords.
so yeah. Really, you can do. Here's Masacham Isha Savita. We're talking about bossa nova grooves now. And welcome to my group, everybody. It's time to learn. My wife, Kristen, made me create this group. She's really been pushing me my whole life, ever since I met her. So thanks, Kristen. Because <laughs> I don't like to do things in public. So th that's actually part of one of my songs, Bird Song. So for those of you who are just joining us, we're going, mute. you're picking any two chords and you're going mute, you're muting that chord and then picking up and then striking the same chord, open. side of the uh, thing, not hitting the note. Or you could hit the side interstitial space if you want. Mute, open, bass, bass, snare. Mute, open, bass, bass, snare. So that's how the second half is different from the first. Mute, open, bass, bass, snare. That's the first part. Anybody trying this at home that is having any, any luck here? I'm all out of water now. Uh-oh. Mute, open, bass, bass, snare. Mute, open, bass, bass, snare. Different chords, same thing. Tricky. How's everybody doing? Good, good. I'm assuming everybody's playing the hand pan and practicing. That's why nobody's on my communicating with me. So, yeah, that's Bossa Nova grooves. They're uh, they're great. Um, there's another world groove I wanted to talk about called. Uh, Partido Alto, people that took my workshop at Pantasia learned both of these, so I uh, wanted to share it again. Being a drum set player, these are some grooves that I like to do on the drum set, and it's nice to uh, apply them uh, to the handpans and in rap drums and YW pulsars. Uh, you, 
can really do this to any kind of hand pan or tongue pan. This stuff will work. Um, so yeah, Partito Alto is kind of similar, but not really. Let's see if I remember it. two notes that work and try that and it goes like this an open chord of your choice snare bass bass open snare bass bass open snare bass bass open snare bass bass snare snare bass bass it's a little tricky on the upbeat oh i don't have any water <coughs> on my hand pan. How's everybody doing? Nobody's communicating with me, so I'm assuming that... Oh, I, that's why nobody's in here. Well, that's why. Right, well, you, you'll watch it later, I'm sure. So, Partido Alto. Open, snare bass, bass, snare, snare bass, bass. Then the other chord, same thing. I see people watching, but can, can you guys hear me? No? No? Well, I'm just gonna trust. Open, snare bass, bass, snare, snare bass, bass, then the other chord, snare bass, bass, snare, snare bass, bass. Oh, a thumbs up. notes in between and uh, it's kind of a tricky thing that drummers do basically filling in the 16th notes really softly in between everything while still keeping the architecture of the rhythm if that makes any sense so I'm just constantly in between going really softly and then that, those accents coming chord Partido Alto, that can, um, I think that can work with, with other things. It should be able to work on any two chords you pick, really.
ghost notes, what it sounds like. So that's all that accents of the groove, and then the ghost notes just kind of weave it all, fold it together. Um, there's one person in here. Hello. Welcome to my live lesson. Welcome to this group that my wife Kristen made me create. I'm happy to share my knowledge and uh, we'll learn together. So the partito alto on this pan would sound like this. Chord, snare, bass, bass, snare, snare, bass, bass. Chord, snare, bass, bass, snare, snare, bass, bass. Oh, someone said something finally. Hello. Tito Alto. Yes, hello, hello. You missed the beginning. It's okay. It's live, so so once this is over, you'll be able to watch it and rewind it and it'll be good. So to refresh what we were doing, uh, we talked about improv, your go-to grooves, and bossa novas, and now we're on to partito alto, which is another world groove I like to do on drum set, and applying it to the hand pan, sounds like this. Facebook has a problem with the videos. Oh, whoops. Well, maybe this lesson was for nothing, but that's pretty much what I wanted to talk about anyway. So hey, I hope everybody enjoyed this live lesson. Thanks for joining my, my teaching group. And uh, I don't know, why don't we end with a little, why don't we end with a little, uh, let's end with a bang, shall we?
thanks for joining me on my first lesson. That's cool. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, I'm a, I'm a drum set player first, and then came world percussion like that, and then came the Udu. The Udu drum. I played this thing for a year before Tab, before Hampan, before Tabo became Udu. Ooh. I played the Udu for a year straight every day. joining me. But yeah, after Udu came uh, came Tabla, and then the hand pan obsession obsession started. Yeah, U Udu's cool. It's a it's a clay drum from um, Nigeria. Really cool. Udus are the best. So thanks everybody for, for joining me on this first live lesson of mine and thanks for joining me in my teaching group. It really means a lot to me. Uh, and uh, thanks my, to my wife for pushing me to do this stuff, because I would have never done anything like this. So, till next time. How do you shut this thing off here? What? Oh, oh.